We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel to all subscribers welcome back here we are with MMAT stock meta materials inc and in today's video we're also going to cover MMTLP torchlight preferred shares and what's going on within their charts and also how things are looking with the supports and in inflow versus outflow but MMAT stock was not the only stock falling today the overall market did as well and our spy bot since 8.35 a.m. sent out a bear indicator and from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside, pure weakness towards the bell and after the bell, outflows crossed again to the downside and put options went up 150% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity over the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots, and becoming part of our growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so after yesterday's great news for mmat the stock has decided to pull back and we need to break it all down what's going on here because the last time the stock slowed down and pulled back a bit it was after earnings and things ran right back up so is this just a setup for the next bull run, as I like to call it, or actual weakness within the charts? We're going to break it all down in today's video. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edging clarity of the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord and our 42 vision indicators. And by joining, you'll become part of of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the home run of the day was from our tesla bot our tesla bot sent out a bear indicator since 8 15 a.m and from that moment forward the outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside pure weakness there on 42 vision into the bell and after the bell and put options went up a hundred percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge over the charts Check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with MMAT Meta Materials Inc. Having a slight pullback here from the resistance levels of 195 and rejecting it once again. It rejected about three times here from yesterday to today and trying to hold support above 170. We're going to break down some key levels here. And what's going on here what made it go up even higher yesterday but let's go ahead and pull up the born bear indicators and the inflow versus outflow which you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with mmat meta materials inc under a bear indicator pulling downwards here and the outflow starting to dominate here within the volatility guys and i talked about this in yesterday's video how critical it was because on the 15 minute chart you could see how close they were and they tried coming back up and then it crossed right back down towards the beginning half of the day plus that bear indicator and a full transition here on 42 vision from the rip area to the dip area which is bright green to white with red borders and the transitions back up if their strength here would be from white with red borders all the way to bright green if it's your first time here across the channel that's what 42 vision allows us to see the dips from the rips and the born bear indicators are there as extra layers of confirmation and the inflow versus outflow is there to show us the strength behind the moves or the weakness when it's below the midpoint right like right now lots of weakness here and the outflows are dominating and this is the first time that the outflows have dominated since way back here on november 11th and i talked about if this happened we would get a bear indicator it would cancel out this bull indicator, especially if the outflows crossed. It could start reflecting pretty quickly into the chart. And it would be the first time since way back here in the last several days that we see 
the outflows cross and a bear indicator possibly popping up. And here it is having strength over the weakness of the chart. And it wasn't the only stock of MAT that this happened to. The overall market did as well. And MMTLP, a lot of people usually ask, why are we watching both if they do not indirectly correlate? This is my opinion, my perspective alone. I could be wrong in my opinion, not financial advice, but I believe both of them have seemed to follow each other pretty closely, not to the T, but when one pulls down, I like to make sure and see what's going on with the other. And here we are. The outflow started yesterday on MMTLP as well. They crossed over today on the 30 minute. And you could see that bear indicator there towards the second half of the day. And we're below the midpoint here. And this is the first time since way back here that the last bull indicator on November 10th popped up. And the first time that it pulls over through the outflows. So super important to keep this in mind that even though they may not be exactly to the T, they both are indirectly correlated to each other. One is going more related to the S1, and the other one is on the possibility of a squeeze in the indirect correlation of MMTLP, right? Which is MMAT, hopefully squeezing with it, but MMTLP is the one that's gonna go private, and everyone is speculating on the possibility that the shorts need to cover before going private. Now, here we are with it, Outflows dominating, bear indicator, and we have some key levels to talk about here for both charts. And in yesterday's video, which I'm going to show you guys here in just a moment, I asked several times, right? Do you guys think these inflows could hold? Do you think the outflows will dominate? And I asked it for a reason because the charts were looking pretty weak, especially with the 15 minute below the midpoint here in yesterday's video. And even though it tried coming back up, quickly it came right back down and I stated the key levels we were watching and it broke through support in two levels that we watched right but it's fighting to stay above 170 we're gonna break down those key levels but as you see it popping up here on the screen this is the question I asked every single viewer in yesterday's video this is the video from yesterday do you guys think that the inflows will hold guys I asked this several times in the video because when you come back to the chart that 15 minute was below the midpoint at the time of the recording and also on the one hour chart you could see these outflows were starting to pick up and I stated we were going to watch if they started coming towards the midpoint or even crossed and you can see it there towards the end of today it has actually crossed for the first time since it brought itself back up on November 14th and also we were under a bull indicator and full strength on the transitions of 42 vision right what comes after bright green once weakness begins dark green with red borders red bars bear indicators as confirmation and on top of that the outflows are there as another layer of confirmation but not just for mmat we were concerned about the one hour but also on torchlight preferred shares as you see it here the outflows have crossed as well on the one hour but no bear indicator just yet but the transitions are happening right the last point of this transition would be white with red borders. Now, is it guaranteed to go towards white with red borders? No. If it finds support here, it could try to actually negate this and bounce right back up like it's done in the past. But you could see right there, full transition there on 42 vision, bull and bear indicator, and then also inflows picking up with strength. So we're watching this very carefully yesterday and today. And I'm going to share with you guys the key levels that I'm watching. So the first thing is here for MMAT, we need to watch the one hour here. We wanna see these inflows actually pick up. They're really close to the midpoint and actually hold support. And if it could bring itself back up, it could start reflecting pretty quickly into the chart. And hopefully this bear indicator gets canceled by a bull indicator in the process. But on the 30 minute here, the first support is 170. Below that is down here towards 159, 160. And to the upside, we want to see this break back above 180 and back towards 190 where that bear indicator popped up. And if these inflows could pick up and cross back up to the upside, cancel that bear indicator and get a bull indicator in the process. Now for Torchlight Preferred Shares, same thing on the one hour chart, right? Let's go ahead and pull up the one hour chart. You could see it here. We want these inflows to actually start to pick back up. It's really close there to the midpoint. And if it could do that, bring itself back up and reflect into the chart and continue to hold strong here 
with this bull indicator or if these outflows continue to dominate or pull even further to the downside i'm going to be watching if a bear indicator pops up here and if this transition completes from bright green to white with red borders going into tomorrow or the next few days right now on the 30 minute though we want to watch the first support here of 863 and below that is down here at eight dollars those are the key levels to the downside i'm going to be watching if these outflows continue to dominate or if they can bring themselves back up and if it crosses the midpoint with strength and goes up and pulls away from it and cancels this bear indicator in the process to reflect to the upside on the chart the first resistance is up here at 950 and above that is the recent highs of 990. do you think it could hit ten dollars i want to see your guys's comments down below what do you think about that and do you think with mmat we could see two dollars this week i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below and as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.